This video is going to show you how you can do, have an automatic barcode scanner and that new, new products will go to the top of the list instead of the bottom. Also in this video, I've had the question of they want in and out several times um, because possibly they're uh, renting out equipment or it's going in and out of the, the, the warehouse and they need to track the ins and outs many times and not just once. And so let's uh, try this out for a second. So um, I'm going to type in, we have here 21, 21, 21. And so let me show you that if I click in here again and type 21, 21, 21 and press enter, it will put the date and time in my it will put the date and time in my in and out schedule. Now, if I put a new one in here, so let's let's use um, 88888 and I'll put it in. And it has put it right at the top so that if you're scanning in hundreds a day, you don't have to look all the way through your sheet to find the new one. Now, the other thing here is let's go 21 21 21 again and so we've got an in and an out for it and so uh i'm going to do that again and then we'll have another in for it so 21 21 21 and press enter and press enter and there we have the third time it's coming in and out and so you can continue do the, doing this for as long as or as wide as your sheet is i've got um about eight or nine in and outs going in here, but you could do it as many as you want. So let me show you how the code works. The first code that I will show you is my code so that this automatically runs and that's cre it's created right on the worksheet. So I'm going to right click the sheet and I'm going to go view code. And then it's just very simple code here. Um, the code will of course be included in the description of my video. It says private sub worksheet change by value target as range if if not intersect target me dot range a2 so if there's nothing in a2 uh, then you do nothing but if, uh, if there is then you call the program called access application enable events true and if and sub and so let's go look at the access okay so here's my code access and so what what we're doing is we're declaring barcode as a string range, RNG is a range, row number is long, and barcode is whatever we whatever is scanned into the active sheet cells to one. Um, bar if barcode does not equal blank, then then you start doing this. It's searching for the barcode and it's look it's going from a5 to a150 and you could change that to a10000 if you wanted to um and then when it if it finds nothing then what's it's it's going is it's going to a6 and it's going to insert an entire row and then it's going to a6 and then it's putting in the active cell it's now selected a6 and in in active cell value equals the barcode um, active cell offset select and so that it's changing over and now it's entering in the date and time and this is the format of the date and time and then it's going back to uh, 2 1 which is where the barcodes are scanned in so you don't have to click anywhere now um, if it finds the rate row number the or it finds the range then row number is the where it found it active sheet select row number and the column one and set and select that cell and then it's putting in then we're offsetting and we're putting in the date and so how it's putting in the date is um, instead of just going to the next thing it's finding the first blank one so that's where you can have multiple ins and outs and then um, the last thing it does is it says active sheet 2, 1, select, and then end if. So we have what uh, if for the barcode, and then we have an if, if if it finds it. And there's your two end ifs. And then it's active sheets 2, 1, select. I just want to make sure that you get there before you scan the next one. So I will, of course, include my code in the description of my video. 
This is how you scan barcodes automatically and the new barcodes go to the top. Please subscribe.